Welcome back dear friends and students. In this video, I am going to discuss Python program to read and print the student details like name, USN and marks in three subjects. Let us see the program statement first. Write a Python program to read the student details like name, USN and marks in three subjects. Display the student details, total marks and percentage with suitable messages. Dear students, whenever a program statement will be given, first and foremost, you are supposed to read the program statement carefully and try to understand from that program statement. Say here, if you read this program statement, you are supposed to read student details like name, USN and marks in three subjects and user expects you to print the student details and total marks of three subjects and later the percentage with suitable messages. Dear students, this can be easily implemented in four simple steps. In step 1, we are going to read input details like name, USN and marks of three subjects. Whereas in step 2, we will calculate total marks by adding marks of all three subjects. In step 3, we calculate percentage using the formula total marks into 100 divided by maximum marks. Here, if we consider for every subject 100 marks is the maximum, then total maximum marks here will be 300. And in fourth step, we will display the student details, total marks and percentage. With respect to flowchart or flow diagram, we can represent this in a simple four different steps. Beginning, this is a start symbol, this is the end symbol and this particular symbol we normally use to take a manual input. And these two symbols are for simple processing whereas this symbol is for displaying the output to the user. But these two symbols normally will be represented by a simple parallelogram symbol something like this. Basically this symbol is used for input output data either inputting the data or outputting the data. So in place of say these two symbols we can use this symbol itself. The procedure will remain same only thing is I have changed the input and output symbol. So hope this is clear to you dear students. Say in four simple steps we are going to implement this particular program. Let us see what is the expected output of this program. Once the program is executed, it should ask us to enter the name of the student. After entering the name, it should ask USN of the student. Once USN is entered, say it should ask marks of three subjects. After entering the marks of three subjects, it, it should calculate total marks and percentage. Lastly, it should display the student details like name, USN, total marks and percentage. If we want, we can also display the marks of three subjects. With this, let's start the coding. Dear students, I am using Ubuntu operating system. On this operating system, let me use a Python idle to edit and execute the program. Let me go to application. Here, I will type idle. So, this is a Python idle. Let me open this. I will enlarge this. Now, to create a file, I will go to file and click on a new file. So, here I am going to type the program. First and foremost, I am going to put a comment with the title of the program. I am writing a Python program to read student details marks of three subjects and it should display student details total marks and percentage now dear students in first step we are supposed to read the student details first to read the name i will use a variable called name and here i use a input function to read the name through the keyboard 
let me write here enter name of the student once the user enters the name it will be read and stored onto the variable name so later i'll read usn so here input enter usn of the student dear students here we are reading input details and afterwards we'll read marks of three subjects to store the marks of first subject i'll use the variable marks one dear students by default input function is going to return a string irrespective of whether we enter integer or floating point number or string the input function will always return a string itself to calculate total marks and percentage i require integer here so whatever the data the input function will return to convert that to integer i use a function called int here input enter marks of first subject whatever the input will be read that will be converted to integer and stored in a variable marks 1 so this is for subject 1 similarly i'll copy this and paste twice for subject 2 and 3 means second subject and third subject to store the marks of second subject marks 2 and this is marks 3 for third subject let me write this as a enter the marks of second subject and this as enter the marks of third subject now dear students this is a first step of what we have done and in second step we will calculate the total marks to calculate the total marks i am going to take a variable called total underscore marks which is is equal to marks of subject 1 plus marks of subject 2 plus marks of subject 3 so this particular statement will calculate the total marks so this is a comment and similarly to calculate the percentage i'll take a variable called percentage percentage is equal to so the formula is total marks total underscore marks into 100 and this i'll take within a bracket and this divided by 300 calculate the percentage after calculating the percentage we need to display the student details now dear students to display student details first i am going to print a statement called student details now here i am going to first print name name of the student now to print the name say after the string just put a comma and type the variable whose value you want to print here i want to print the value of a variable name so whatever is there in a name that will be printed after the colon now i am going to print usn of the student now to print the usn i use the variable usn and later so i can print a marks of all three subjects using like say here using print function first subject so here comma marks 1 this one i'll copy and paste twice so this is marks 2 this is marks 3 and here this is second subject and this one is third subject now dear students i'm going to print total marks print total marks so total marks is it is total underscore marks and finally to print percentage percentage is it is variable i have used is percentage only so very simple program dear students so to save this either i can press control s or go to file and click on save so here i am going to save this in a folder called python programs let me write a program name as program underscore 1a and by default it will take a extension dot py let me click on save so once it is saved here you can see 
program underscore one a dot py is the program name to execute this go to run and click on run module so if any errors are there it will display the error you just go back to a file and edit it later save and once again run so here it is asking asking us to enter the name of student i'll enter a name as ishwari it is asking us to enter the usn of the student let me enter usn 2bl 09 ec 051 now enter the marks of first subject 90 enter the marks of second subject 70 enter the marks of third subject 86 So here you can see dear students student details name of the student Ishwari USN of the student 2BL09 EC051 marks of first subject 90 second subject 70 third subject 86 total marks 246 and percentage 82.0. So one more thing what you can do dear students little bit you can display this in a better way. What I'll do before in, uh, typing the student details put a one new line here and here i am going to print line of stars asterisk and same thing i'll copy and paste at the end so let me save this once again go to run and run module so here once again i'll enter the same details ishwari 2bl 09 ec 051 Now first subject 90, second subject 70, and third subject 86. So here you can see, dear students, it's been printed in a better way. So hope this is clear to you, dear students. So this is a very simple program which you can easily understand. Try to execute and see the output of this program. Hope this is clear to all of you, dear students. Thank you. Thank you for watching.